Is it time for AI CEOs? So last week, a company called, what's it called? Dictador, Dictador, which produces rum and spirits, announced that it had appointed a CEO, an AI CEO. They actually even came up with a robot head and face for this supposedly female CEO. She's obviously not female because it's a robot. It's an AI. And it's not a particularly good looking robot, which is surprising to me because if you think about it, if they wanted to create a compelling vision for CEO, you'd think they'd want a decent looking robot that appeals to, to many people. That's attractive to people. And I thought to myself, well, of course it would have to happen. I'm sure it's probably more of a publicity stunt than anything else, because if you really had an actual AI CEO, would you really need to create a robot head for this CEO? No, they could appear. I mean, because we all, the way we appear to each other nowadays is exactly this way, the same way you and are watching me. You are watching me through a screen. And even though the production quality is so amazing, you can tell that I'm a human being, right? You can tell that I am not AI. I mean, maybe on our sister podcast, AIDaily.us, where I sometimes make comments, where you hear my voice speaking, that's not me. That's an AI. But as you're watching YouTube or maybe listening to the Think Future podcast on Spotify, you're listening to an actual human being speaking. This is a human being speaking. So what's wrong with AI CEOs? Does people, like when you hear the word AI CEO, when you think of a, an AI running a company, what's the first thing you think? Because I think the first thing that people think is, oh my God, that's the worst possible thing. Why should we have an AI running a company? We can't have an AI running a company because companies are full of people and we cannot have an AI running a company full of people. I beg to differ. Because if you ask me, I don't think companies are just full of people anymore. Just people, people, companies are full of people and AI. There are plenty of AI agents that are being used by people to complete tasks. And in fact, a lot of companies don't even understand, don't even know how many of their employees are actually using AI to complete tasks. And right now, under the covers at your organization, I would not be surprised if you've got almost as many or more AI agents running around out there doing work at the bidding of your employees. You may actually have an AI group. If you have an AI group that actually has agents that run for people, great, and you're aware of them. But I wouldn't be surprised if up to even 80% of your employee base is currently, right now, using AI agents to reduce the amount of work that they have. So you already have AIs working for you. You may just not be aware of it. So why would I want some people? So like I said, some people would say, no, 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 we wouldn't want an AI doing a job. We don't want an AI doing a job. Well, why not? I mean, they're super efficient. And the other thing, I mean, what's the biggest thing about AI? The biggest difference between an AI and a human being is that an AI knows, can know more than a human being. It may not have the intuition, it may not have the best decision-making skills, but it does know more. For example, people say that at some point in the future, when it comes to healthcare, <clears throat> we'll have AI doctors and we'll have human doctors. And if you ask me, I would prefer an AI doctor to a human doctor. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Chris, what are you talking about? Healthcare is a human thing. Why the hell would I want an AI doctor as opposed to a human doctor? Well, I'll tell you why. Because an AI doctor, first, let's talk about the human doctor. So a human doctor, sure, they can be empathetic. They can be understanding of my situation. They can crack jokes. They can have a great bedside manner. They can be really human. They can be understanding. They can be empathetic, right? But that doctor, that human doctor only knows so much. They can only learn so much. They can only understand so much. They can only read so much. They can only have so much exposure to so much information. They don't know everything. 
they only know as much as a human being knows. And sure, they might have more experience, they might have more education than me as a human, as a non-medical human being. But do they really know more than I do? Do they really know more? Because so many times when you present a medical issue, they may not know anything about it, or they may be assuming that it's similar to something that's happened before that they, in their experience, have seen. Now, when I'm talking to an AI physician, that's a different story because this AI physician doesn't have just the brains of a single human being. Because as I mentioned before, the beauty of AI is that AI holds more than the brains of a single human being. It holds the entire set of education of thousands, millions of human beings. So would you rather be diagnosed by a, a human doctor with only as much data or only as much knowledge in its head than a human being has? Or would you prefer to be diagnosed by an AI that knows that is basically the sum total of millions of studies, millions of doctors, millions of bits of education, millions of people creating information to put into this AI's brain. Would you prefer to have the, the human doctor or the AI doctor? I know a lot of you would prefer to have the human doctor, but if you ask me, maybe the AI doctor actually knows more about health. Maybe it knows more about what it can do to help me personally. Because in fractions of a second, it can look at millions of cases, compare those cases to me, and go, wait a minute, in this case, which is very similar to yours, along these, all these parameters, a simple application of this drug or that drug solved the problem. A human doctor may have to go back and research that, but the AI doctor wouldn't need to do that. So if you would trust an AI doctor with your health, why wouldn't you trust an AI CEO with your company? Let me know in the comments below or on our new Telegram channel, the Think Futurium. Links in the comments below. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.